folks on in the south chicken fried steak on the menu this evening it's pretty simple pretty quick and really delicious i got about a pound and a half of cube steak what that is is a top round or sometimes sirloin if you're lucky that the butcher will run through a tenderizing machine and just poke it up real good uh, to make it a little more tender but we're actually going to get this in a marinade and let it tenderize naturally for about six to eight hours this is one of these old southern ways of tenderizing a meat using buttermilk the enzymes in a buttermilk uh, tenderize your meat once them cube steaks are marinated we're going to get them out get them double dredged get them fried up in a skillet we'll pull them out of the skillet and put together a nice milk gravy to go on top extra good for this cook other than the cube steak you're going to need about two cups of milk that's for the gravy you're going to need about a cup and a half of buttermilk two eggs some dry seasoning mix that's going to go in two cups of all-purpose flour uh, the ingredients of that will be down in the description it's basically an all-purpose seasoning you know, onion powder garlic powder salt pepper some paprika in there if you don't want to fool with that you can just use a steak seasoning of some type put it in the uh, the flour season it up you just want to make sure the flour is seasoned and to put this gravy together instead of using the cooking oil in the skillet we're going to use some bacon grease that bacon grease just makes this white gravy taste a lot better going on top of this chicken fried steak let's get to cooking the first thing we're going to do is put this marinade together that's a cup and a half of buttermilk get those eggs whooped in here and this marinade is also going to be used as the egg wash to uh, double batter the steak cutlets we're going to get us a little pepper in get us a little salt in there Get a cube steak in. We're going to get this in the refrigerator for at least six hours overnight works real good but we're going to be cooking this up for supper next thing we're going to do is get this flour seasoned up get all those seasonings mixed in there real good left out one thing. I'm going to put a little bit of dried parsley in here. A couple of teaspoons. And we're going to get us two tablespoons out and set it aside. We're going to use that to uh, make this gravy at the end. That's it for now. We'll see y'all back shortly. Alright folks, getting about supper time. We've got our flour here. Got the uh, steaks been marinating about seven hours. Got them out the fridge. We're going to start getting these dredged up. I just want to shake any excess off of there. We're going to get these laid over here in this flour. Get us an initial coat on. Shake off access. We're going to go back over here and get it coated again with the egg wash. Make sure it's real well coated. The 
Just like it. And then we're gonna set it over here on the tray. And we're gonna let the steak set there for about 15, 20 minutes so that this flour has the opportunity to really set up on the meat. Because this meat has those little cracks and crevices in there, you really want to press down and make sure you're getting the flour in very well. We're going to give these steak cuts about 15-20 minutes let that flour set up pretty good. In the meantime, I'm going to get some mash and some uh, corn going. Got to get a skillet going with some uh, some frying oil to get these dropped in. Alright, steak's been set in about 15-20 minutes. I got some oil here heating up and uh, it's about 350 degrees. Put a little flour in there and see. Oh yeah, she right. Go ahead and lay, lay some of these steaks down here. Get a little ventilation going. I'm going to cut the heat back. We're going to fry these up over about a medium low. I'm going to go in a few minutes on this side. Let's go ahead and turn. Oh, that looks real nice. Real nice looking chicken fried steak. Those been going about four minutes on that side. Let's see what we're looking like. Oh yeah, she's looking real good. Oh yeah, she's Give these about another minute. Go ahead and get these out and set them over here. It's a nice looking chicken fried steak right there. Gonna be extra good. Beautiful gnarly crust. And you want to set them on a rack like that so they don't steam. They steam to get a little soggy on them. Looking good. Smelling good. I always turn back to my original side for about another 30 seconds or a minute 
kind of just double fries that top presentation side. Looking pretty good. We're gonna get these down in the oven and keep them warm. Get this gravy put together. Now we got the cooking grease out of the skillet, and I cleaned the skillet out real well because I want a nice clean white gravy for this. And if you leave behind the bits and whatnot, you end up kind of a with a browner gravy, and that's fine if you don't mind that. The uh, bits uh, left in the bottom of the skillet uh, add more flavor. To your, your gravy, if that's what you want to do. We're gonna get us about two tablespoons of bacon fat in here. We're gonna get us some of this flour in that we set aside from our dredging flour. Get that mixed up there. I'm going to put about, I guess that was about two and a half tablespoons. We're going to let this flour cook here just a few minutes. Just get the raw off the flour. Very lightly brown it. It's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get some milk in. Put about one cup in to start with. And get this stirred up real good. Get that roux incorporated. Thickened up pretty good. A little more in here. Let that come back up to a simmer. Take a look at it. We're going to get some salt in. A few little pinches of salt. That bacon grease was salted. We'll taste it. See how it's hitting. Lots of black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper in my milk gravy. Looking pretty good. Go ahead and give us a taste. That's pretty good. I'm going to put just a little more pelf in. Got about a cup and a half of that milk in, and I don't think I'm going to add any more. I want this to be fairly thick, so it really coats the top of that chicken fried steak. That's good. Regular folks approve. Let's get some dinner on the plate. Now that right there is going to be some good eating. Let's get in here and see how it's hitting. Nice and crispy. Let's see if it's tender. Oh, it's tender. I don't even need this knife. Mmm. That is good. Look at that. It's that buttermilk marinade. Makes that extra tender. That is delish. One of them very comforting meals that's pretty darn easy to put together.
And that's it, folks. Chicken fried steak. A very tender, very flavorful, crispy fried steak with a very nice, flavorful white gravy. Till next time, peace.